Hi there. Today we'll be going over how to do a manual calibration on the point when using it in granular applications. Now today's tutorial assumes that you do have the ability to move the level up or down. And whether you're using the line powered version of the point or the two wire version, the steps are going to be the same. So for today's demonstration, we're going to be using a line powered version of the point set in high level fail safe. You want to either set your mode to either mode 7 or mode 8. Mode 7 being standard sensitivity, mode 8 being high sensitivity. This particular unit is already set to mode 8 for high sensitivity because today we're going to be measuring sawdust, which has a low dielectric of around 1.3 and a bulk density of roughly 13 pounds per cubic foot. If you're not sure how to change the calibration modes on your point, be sure to check your user's manual or check out our tutorial on YouTube. Now to do the calibration, you're going to be using the sensitivity adjustment pot located on the electronics module. Full range of the pot is 25 turns. Each rotation of the pot changes the operating point by 4 picofarads in mode 7 or 1 picofarad in mode 8. Turning the adjustment clockwise will raise the level at which the relay operates or making it less sensitive. Turning the adjustment counterclockwise will lower the level at which the relay operates or making it more sensitive. Okay, so the first step in our calibration procedure is you're going to take your screwdriver and turn the sensitivity adjustment fully counterclockwise until the red LED turns on. Okay, now that the red LED has turned on, we're going to turn the, uh, the adjustment pot clockwise until the red LED just turns off. So it turns slowly and it turns off. And I'm going to go back again just to show this area right here is known as your trip point. So now we have it in the off position. Okay, now for the last step of the calibration procedure, you want to raise the level in your tank to where you want your trip point to be. So in our little tank here, we have about eight inches of sawdust. We're going to take our probe and insert it into the tank and the red LED should come on. Now the next step is going to be is to take your adjustment pot and turn it clockwise until the red LED turns off. Now while you're doing this, you want to count the number of turns it takes for the red LED to turn off. So let's do that. Okay, so in my particular case, it only took about one turn for the LED to turn off. The next step is you want to turn the adjustment pot counterclockwise half those number of turns. So since it only took about one turn for my LED to turn off, it, you're, I'm going to back it off half a turn. Okay, so now that we've done our calibration, the last step is to make sure that our unit goes in and out of alarm properly. In our tank here, we have about 8 inches of sawdust, so we're just going to raise and lower our point and see if the unit goes into alarm. Take our unit. Go down. Goes into alarm just as it should when we're touching the material. We'll raise it out. And it comes out of alarm. So this means our unit is working properly and our calibration was done correctly. And that's all there is to it. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial.